All right, so before we start the actual video and I get into my intro and stuff, I'm gonna do a few pulls for you guys on the drag radios. I'm not doing a review yet. This is the first day that I'm actually driving it. It's May 1st, so let's do a few pulls if I can get through traffic. All right, so let's see if I can slow down. So we're gonna go 30, ready? Okay, hold on, let's see. So let's put it in manual mode, we're gonna go. Yeah, they hook. All right, let's see if I can do one more. So, it's usually going from like a 40 or something. So we're gonna go down to third gear. We're going, let's see, going 35. Let's see if we can go to second. Okay, we're going 33, ready? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's what it's supposed to feel like. Holy shit. All right, I'll do a few full review on that, but for now, let's get to today's video. Just bought something though. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go, yeah. No dreams too big, chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally seeing money, now I'm What's up everybody, Kevin Van Voris here for another video for you guys today. So first, we're gonna walk out to my Jeep, grab the little suction cup so that way, uh, when we drive in the Hellcat to go get some gas, uh, camera's not gonna be shaking everywhere. So let's get this out real quick. So for those of you who ask like where I put it, it's just right here, so. It's nice because the Jeep windshields are flat. Do I need anything else out of here? Don't think so. So today, got the car washed. Um, some of you guys know it was at my buddy's uh, grand opening. And <laughs> it sucks because uh, it actually rained. So, uh, they drove it back to my house and obviously it was dirty. So, had them rewash it today. Um, this is the first day I'm driving it with drag radials, like actually driving it. Haven't really got on it yet, but they look good. So, look really, really good. And they don't stick out very much, which is nice. So, I'm excited because uh, I'm excited because it won't be an issue when I put the airbags on the car. So, we got some updates to do. <clears throat> Let me put this in position and uh, we'll get the car started. Wakey, wakey. Okay, so, a few things to talk about. Today's Monday, uh, May 1st. So, happy May 1st, happy Monday. I love Mondays. Mondays are my favorite day of the week. It's the day to get the week start off right so we've got a lot going on this week and so let's get to stay this video started because we need to talk about some stuff so first things first um, I actually found a really awesome graphic designer who's gonna be doing the graphics let me straighten this out a little bit who's gonna be doing the graphic for the Hellcat so as some of you guys know, I'm going to be wrapping it, and it's going to be completely different. Something you've never seen before. Um, it's not going to be like Street Speed 717s necessarily. I mean, it'll, it'll have that wow factor that his first one did. I think his second one, in my opinion, <clears throat> wasn't that great. Um, I think the first one was a lot better. That's just my opinion, though. But... I want to have that same wow factor, except it's going to have my style. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to drop some pictures right now.
So these pictures are basically what I gave the designer um, to kind of work with. So I felt like I gave her enough material that she should be able to put together something fucking awesome. So I was actually going to use a guy who was recommended by my buddy in Colorado. His name is Matt. Um, he owns 303 Design Company. <clears throat> I asked him first, but he said the design is going to be too intricate for him to do. So he actually usually outsources stuff like that. So, <clears throat> so what I did is he gave me a number of some guy um, who actually does a lot of Gumball 3000 stuff. The problem is I kind of emailed him too late. Also, his pricing is a little high. Um, now, maybe for my second wrap, I'll probably hit him up, depending on how well this lady does. Um, but I'm gonna show you this lady's stuff. Her name is Curvaceous Wraps on Instagram. So, I'll drop a few pictures of what she's done. So that's some of the stuff she's done. Now, I didn't know she did the Lamborghini, which I re originally put in the first video of what I was kind of looking for as far as wow factor. So it's kind of cool that I actually found the person who designed that wrap because I really love that wrap. I think it flows with that body extremely well and it's outrageous, but not like outrageous where it looks gross or awful. It's outrageous because it looks so damn cool. So. I gave her some colors. I gave her purple, um, orange, red, black, and white. Purple, orange, red, black, white. Yeah, those are the five colors that I gave her. That because she was asking me, you know, what colors do you like? What company colors do you have? I was like, well, we don't necessarily have company colors, but this is kind of what I'm leaning towards because those are the colors that I like. Obviously, orange. The car is orange. Purple. My gym is purple. Uh, red and black have always been a favorite, and then white. It's a, white's always a good color to have. So, um, I'm excited to be working with her. Uh, I will give you updates as soon as I find out. So I wanted to just make, you know, give you guys an update as far as what you guys are going to be expecting from the wrap. Again, I don't really have an artistic bone in my body, so <laughs> I just can I can put stuff together that I want, and then hopefully she'll be able to kind of just make what I'm looking for, but I can't really explain it. Uh, my tattoo artist that I have in Colorado, uh, he goes by the name of Jason Mako. He does an awesome job of being able to me kind of explain to him what I want, but I can't really explain exactly what I want. And he takes the ideas that I have and then he'll draw it and he'll show me exactly like, oh shit, that's actually what I wanted. I just couldn't tell you. So I also gave her some sugar skulls. I'm a big fan of sugar skulls. Obviously I have two giant sugar skulls, one on my left leg, which is a color sugar skull, one on my right leg, which is a black and white, kind of goes with the good and evil type of thing. Um, always been a fan of that. And then gave her some, obviously some graffiti artwork. Uh, I love the Paisley print, which if you guys don't know what Paisley is, Paisley is just bandana print. I'm a big fan of that. I'm from the West Coast, obviously. So I've always been a fan of bandana, West Coast graffiti. I also do like East Coast Graffiti, more bubbly type of letters. West Coast Graffiti is more jagged and uh, rigid. So those are the ideas that I gave her. I'm really excited to be working with her just because some of the stuff she's done is really, really cool. Um, and I actually, the, the the way that I found her, was funny enough, was on YouTube. So I'm sure a lot of you guys watch Street, Be Street Speed 717, um, and he got his car wrapped by Inshane Designs. And I believe that she is actually the one who designed his most recent wrap, um, or it might have been the one before that. That's how I found it. I was just kind of going through YouTube and Instagram, and I was like, holy shit, she's the one who actually did it. And then that Lamborghini that I found on you on a uh, Google, I was, it was on her page, and I was like, holy shit, this is the chick. So I am very interested to see what she comes up with. Um, the cool thing is she'll come up with a design. So she has a 3D image of your car um, and she'll send you the design, which is gonna have the front, the back and the sides and the roof. 
Um, so that'll it'll, that'll be kind of what it looks like. And then what it's going to do, or what she's going to do, is she'll send me a version, and you get two free revisions. So I'll be able to go in and just be like, no, I don't like that. Change it up, and then if she sends me another one, I'll be like, eh, I don't like that. So you get two free revisions, which is pretty cool. Um, and she's not very expensive. Once uh, I get the total from her, uh, which is just a couple hundred bucks, but I'll give you the exact total once I you know, finalize the wrap. Also, tomorrow morning, I'm dropping off the Hellcat to get the airbags installed. So we've got a lot of stuff going on. My uh, buddy from California who wraps cars is coming in probably Monday or Tuesday next week. The car will be done on airbags Monday or Tuesday. So I won't have the Hellcat for roughly about a week. Um, the shop says it takes about, it'll probably take him about two days, maybe three, but they're kind of backed up right now. So he's like, if you could drop it off. And I was like, dude, it's not my daily. So yeah, I can drop it off. No big deal. <clears throat> so that's why I'm headed to the gas station to put gas in it right now. Um, those are kind of weird Jeep lights. Interesting. Uh, so I'm headed to the gas station right now to put some gas in it. And uh, so what I'm going to do also is I'm going to try and get the designer on a maybe like a FaceTime and kind of interview her a little bit and kind of see the process she goes through. I think it'd be kind of cool for you guys. So Hellcat's going to be gone for a week. So I'm not going to be able to, <laughs> it sucks because I'm not going to be able to do a drag radio review. Of course, it's like 75 degrees outside. Can't do a drag radio review till after, which means the airbags will already be installed. The vinyl wrap will already be installed. <sighs> what else? So we've got this getting in for the airbags tomorrow. It'll be gone for a week. As soon as it gets done, my buddy will get in from California. We got the wrap going on that Friday morning or Thursday night, which I think is the 12th. No, it's the 11th or the 12th. My brother's going to be driving in. We're going to be doing a lot of footage on all different vehicles. Uh, we'll do some stuff with his Jeep. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> so I'm very excited. It's just, I'm hoping everything kind of works out because anytime you do stuff with cars, it just seems like something gets fucked up. So I'm hoping by leaving this, um, I'm hoping by leaving this with the guys for the airbags for a week that they can figure it out. I'll be going back and forth. I'm going to make three videos. So tomorrow I'll make a, I'll make a video of dropping the car off, um, kind of going through the processes that they're going to do. And then throughout the week, I'm going to go in and then kind of check up on it here and there. And then obviously the final review of the airbags, which will be taking you through how they did it, uh, kind of how everything runs. Um, and I do want to give a shout out to SRT Mush because I didn't. I'm not going to be the first car on airbags. I believe his car was the first, first Hellcat on airbags. So shout out to him. He made the shit look good. I really like that style. So that's where I got it from. Uh, make sure you guys are following him on Instagram because he's really good at photography and his Hellcat is fucking clean. So I'm um, trying to think what other updates for you guys. So not really much else. It's just going to be a busy two weeks for this car. And I'm really hoping we get everything done. She's supposed to have the design to me, I think by Friday. And then <clears throat> I'll probably get it printed sometime Saturday or maybe that Monday. And then we'll just kind of go from there. So I'm going to end I'm, what I'm going to do too, is I'm going to help, uh, my buddy Misa wrap this and kind of take it apart. So that way I can kind of learn how to wrap a little bit just because I've never wrapped anything. And then also I missed kind of working on cars a little bit. So hopefully I'll be able to help out. It's just, it's tough, man. When you own businesses, you don't get to do as much stuff to your cars as you want. Um, that's why I'm having somebody install the airbags because, you know, for me to take a full weekend and just do that and I don't have a lift, it's tough versus just paying somebody <clears throat> it makes my life a lot less stressful and some if something goes wrong I just take it back no big deal so um trying to think what else I think that's it if you guys have any comments or questions let me know uh in the comments below um if you guys want to see specific things about either the wrap the airbags uh anything like that let me know I will be doing a drag radio review but it's going to be about two weeks or so 
Um, hopefully the weather stays nice because <laughs> it is May. So we'll see. But I do want to say thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, it's more of just an update video, but we're going to have some really good content. Um, oh, also, shit, that's what else we're going to get. Also, we are dropping off the truck on Friday morning, I believe. We're going to be doing a really cool modification to it. I haven't seen at least nobody on YouTube or Instagram from what I've seen. I haven't seen anybody do this mod yet to their Dodge uh, Ram. So I'm very excited about that. That'll be a very cool video. Trying to think what else. Um, I think that's it. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. we got a lot of shit going on on the channel in the next few weeks. And I promise you, you will enjoy the comment. Comment. Fuck, enjoy the content. I wish I could speak. So I'm going to go fill this car up with some gas. And then i got to get back to the gym and work out. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you follow me at Kelly Boy Kev. My name is Kevin Van Forrest. And I'm out.